Hello! Today I'm actually going to show you that you can use your TIG welder when you weld copper. It's most common that you use lead, as we all know, but <clears throat> if you want, you can use your TIG welder to put those pieces together that you want to weld. <clears throat> Uh, it's very important that you clean uh, everything, uh, of course. And uh, one thing that uh, is very good to know that the copper is extremely hot when you start to weld. So uh, if you think aluminum is hot, it's, it's nothing to compare to copper. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is... Uh, uh, have a much higher amp on the welder and I'm going to use uh, this is one millimeter thickness of the copper so if, if uh, this is uh, stainless uh, steel I will probably use uh, around 30 to 45 amperage but uh, when I'm going to weld this, I am going up to probably 180 to 190 amp. Okay, <clears throat> let's start. As I said, I clean those uh, two parts that I'm going to weld with a TIG welder. I have some uh, scotch bright to clean and I have used acetone as well uh, I'm going to use the TIG welder uh, to start with I start with around 190 uh, amperage now on, on this and then I maybe go a little bit lower uh, we'll see how we start um, I have a cup number six so the argon is around six and a half uh, on the yeah, settings so let's start <clears throat> and I will uh, use the pulse function on this very good Turn it now, <clears throat> and as you, you can see, it's changing the color, so it's getting really, really hot. Really hot. And so, it's done, and you can see it's completely almost black now, but you just uh, uh, put this copper now in uh, cold water and it will get uh, quite shiny again, I will show you.
So uh, now you know that you can use your TIG welder to weld copper. I did it just for fun to show you that uh, you can use your welder to more than just aluminum or stainless or whatever you weld. So, but don't forget when you try, it's getting very, very hot. Okay, bye.